let us talk about empowered women. And an empowered woman is a person who doesn't do Elsa's journey. We don't have the fear of, you know, dealing with the unknown, uncertainty, unwanted. We don't, there's no sirens. I'm a 5D mystic. So we are not like, oh my gosh, it must be an energy vampire or some, you know, dark energy, something, low vibration. So they use all these words instead of like knowing energy is energy. But let me explain. Empowerment means you have a whole zero, one-year-old attached panicky. Thank you, mother. So I know how to self-regulate even when I'm having a panic attack. It's very important. So it's not a big deal. It's not a small deal. As a teenager, I remember with my friends, my girlfriends, yeah, oh, I'm, I'm different. I'm different. We're all different. And as I got to hear every one of us say, I was like, wait a minute, but, but yeah, we are all different in a very beautiful way. So all 8 billion people are different and growing. Oh, wow. Now some, they don't have the good therapist, remember, and they don't want them. So we got a scale. It's a Michael Stone forensic criminologist scale, 1 to 22 of evil. All those people, they're surrounded as a 5D mystic by good therapists. And then the ones who choose the human suffering love narrative, so they don't want to handle their zero one year old attached panicky. They don't want to do the three, seven, shame, submissive. They don't want to deal with their karma. Then they're going to project it. It's called the maladaptive child behavior because it's unfinished business. It's not funny, FYI. And the human love narrative, we don't laugh at the human suffering love narrative. But we know they're not empowered, although they will act like a teenager or 16-year-old who lies because the three-year-old has a broken heart because they were frightened and or in abusive, neglectful households. So when men, I'm talking about men, and I'm a solo polyamory, this is because I don't need someone to regulate my nervous system. I know how to regulate my panic attacks, FYI. This is not a competition, please. I see many people who are not yet empowered what happens is their zero one year old and the three to seven comes up, the defectiveness, shame, it's a real deal. It's happened. And they will be like, oh, I don't like that bitch. She's, she's awful. Nobody can be that. Yeah, it's a restorative embodiment. It's really not a special gift. None of our, of our clairs are special gifts. Whenever I heard 4D, we're anointed. We're special. No, 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 we're all special. No, but some of us feel deeper. No, no, actually, I think we're the lucky bunch because I don't want to have the really horrible, horrible, horrible trauma stuff that I know comes up from the gut and the heart for people who have attachment wounds like the avoidant, the ambivalent, and the uh, disorganized. I'm using the categories right now, not the styles. They are separate. Get attachment trauma informed. Use it for yourself versus I think I'm dating some narcissist. And I'm going to make that voice because that's what it sounds like in my ear when I'm hearing women who say they're empowered and then they're using all these words and none of them are going to a therapist to get out of dating beneath themselves. Apparently, they don't realize, am I dating and ruminating? No, they use words to like teenagers. I, I didn't join those crowds. I did for a little bit and I, I don't want to do all this stuff. What are you doing? You're not keeping me in alignment and I'm not. No, I'm not keeping me in alignment. Jesus, thank you. Come on over. I'm not going to follow you. I remember when I started to say to people that would come talk shit about humanity with me, I, I don't agree with this. I, I, you're making me a part of something. I can't continue to support you this way. And they would get upset because they were coming because they're upset at humanity. I'm like, I get it. you got feelings going on. But how about personal development? Let's work on our tone, shall we? Okay, so men, we'll get to our topic. Empowerment. It's when you show up fully and completely because you're not on Elsa's journey. You know, you have a three-year-old. I do too. Mine just doesn't have a heartbreak, gut wrench. So I don't get spiteful, envious, any of that, none. Compersion. In fact, it's very beautiful when you have that because my mind knows what's happening when I get projected by maladaptive child behavior. Like I said, I started to say, hey, to the girlfriends as I got older, I, I, I can't do the you are hating somebody so much that you are literally turning into this, this thing and you're saying you're not, but you are. And it's the squirrel from Cusco land in Emperor's New Group. And they're, no, but why are you taking somebody's side? That's the step four to healing trauma is wanting bystanders to take your side. I'm not going to take your side. I mean, you're not healing the charge. You're just projecting it. You're talking shit about another human being who you were in a relationship with. I feel like I'm still with teenagers who don't know how to be emotionally confident. And that's where codependent people, there's blamers and then there's martyrs and superiors. They all equally, thank you, Patrick Jehan, for your beautiful graph that I saw. He's a childhood trauma survivor, healed in healing and a great therapist. So as he points out, 
The codependent type individuals, they have low self-esteem in their communication, passive aggressive. They don't know boundaries because boundaries about communicating like adults. So when we get into like our pissy mood, nobody is afraid to say, you know what? I'm going to say you're a bitch to your face though, not behind your back. I have yet to meet. No, I have one lovely man friend. Yes. And he doesn't call me words, but just example, sharing always. Yes. And I have my lovely women friend as well. And so we get to actually talk about the challenging conversations like you know they, they don't have the what is it I call it political formalities that people that I've known my entire life I've, I've met plenty of them they continue to this like do you have the capacity to understand that I don't get ego bruised like I don't even know how many more ways to tell you this and one of my friends I really was like what the hell when he didn't tell me that he doesn't believe in any mystic stuff and he had us using our time in ways that I said this is unnecessary I don't need to talk to you about my clairs Okay, so divine feminines, we are always nurturers, but we have our own divine masculines, and that's not because of our twin flames. Our twin flames actually give us the opportunity, like they have with us, to be coherent, for one. So the coherent is when you are able to harmonize the frequency of the heart with the frequency of the mind for an optimal ability to create the reality that we desire. So they get to create the coherence they want in their life, and that means integration and consciousness if they want integration to embrace every aspect of yourself to allow what you perceive as positive and what you perceive as, as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life in order for a man to do this they need to tell you to your face when stuff's coming up now if they have bilateral integration that's going to be straightforward if they have impaired bilateral integration that's the minute they will be reactive but the second later avoidance ambivalence and disorganized all of them they will have a moment to be able and think and guess what that left mode is it's mindset that's everything right there the minute you begin chit chatting about me in your own head and you don't come tell me well you've made your choice haven't you and it isn't the right silence no that's the silence of a person who's ruminating continuing to allow their emotions to taint and if somebody comes and tells you shit behind my back like i saw as teenagers <laughs> This is why an empowered woman, whether it's a man, a woman, a day, if you have teenager attitude, you're on Elsa's journey in the book. And I'm 44 and I've always basically noticed things. Thanks, Jesus. Come on over. Because it was very straightforward to me what human suffering is. I got a heart. You got a heart. I won't be able to prove shit, nor will you. Friend zoning, the best thing that could ever happen to an empowered woman is when a man will friend zone, when they don't have the ability to actually be a man. And no, no, no gender stereotypes, please. It's not about gender stereotypes. There are plenty of women. They're not women in my book, the way they handle themselves and go around projecting unfinished business. This is where our balance is, is about how we handle ourselves and how we walk, walk a walk and talk a talk, empowerment. You show up fully and completely in coherence. This is not the, uh, again, the ones on the 714 scale of evil, no. Michael Stone, we got a bunch of people that fall for that because they were terrified at home and they don't realize they're still acting like little soldiers with blinders on. So consciousness means flexible, adaptive, coherent, energized, stable brain. We can see and spot a grandiose narcissist a mile away. The minute you begin talking to me because you're a nervous system and so am I. And it's not only about mysticism, my lovely mystics that are out there. It's about a human being body because I meet plenty of the sciences people with my lovely five educators and they can spot what I spot. And so can so many others because we're nervous systems. So consciousness, our ability to focus our attention on all the multidimensional aspects that show up so that we can include them in our reality. Okay, so when a empowered woman meets a man who doesn't have an open heart or an open throat and so they don't know how to communicate we know that they are not a conscious lover and that they don't delight in themselves and they don't know passion and their in and out behavior will make it very clear so we don't do friends with benefits because we're not objects but if we choose to bask into that it'll be something fun Again, the polyamory community, though, is what I belong to. So that might be something different for those who are mono amorous and monogamous. However, empowered means I will let you know if I'm okay with it or not. And I will not be hiding anything from you because integration in the brain means I'm a pacha. So I will talk to you and we will know where we're headed. Friend zoning or friends with benefits. But again, we don't really use the benefits things because that's objectifying. But we will like to enjoy our relationships. Tune in for more and remember to be kind and compassionate.
the whole three-year-old heart. 